Hello, hello guys. We are in here with this Kenmore 385-1953. I had my helper today as my husband and he pushed the button many times and cut the video. <laughs> and this is like a the number five time <laughs> we start. Okay. My mom always say with the sewing machine special. Okay. The problem is, is no winding the bobbin or winding but all the thread go under and the first problem i find there are many problems about this the machine is super nice working very well but first when you put this the cap this is too loose that is not going to help you because the thread go like that and the important thing about this thread like that is i'm going to put the other cap is more a small hole so it's a little tight you see and when it's tight this need to be like a sandwich i don't need the thread go and back for the pin for the spool no use i need he get really tight there the second thing went wrong was because I went over here and there are the plastic bobbins this use. Someone used metal bobbins in this machine. You can do it, no one say no. The important thing is be class 15. Class 15 has this high. And in plastic bobbins is, uh, how I say, it's flat, flat. You're going to be, you're going to realize this is 66, 66 bobbin plastic. And some people get that mistake. And the difference is class 66 is small, you see? So... The machine not going to work well with this kind of bobbin. Remember, be class 15. Looking also the top and the bottom had a curve in class 66. It's a small difference, but there are differences. Class 15. Now, all the bobbins, all the bobbins for sewing machines coming with that indentation. The little indentation always go in the little spring or elbow here you see that we can do this with the finger and it moves like a spring and always the indentation when you're going to wind in your bobbin put that indentation face to face with the elbow okay if the bobbin no coming like a quickly like that, don't go into force because maybe you use a bobbin, not for the machine, okay? It's class 15. Now, here when I start to win the bobbin, this is how I do. There are some persons like just to go around with the thread. I lie a space for the hole. And I think that was the idea when made the hole in the bobbin is for pass like that. Inside, outside. You can pull here. Remember the elbow with the indentation there. It's there. Now to the right and start to wind in the bobbin. You see, it's not winning. And I know what happened. This is too tight. We're going to untie. We're going to check it now. 
no jet that was not sewn like that before you need to create that tension there and there you go now you can cut this tail of the thread here and let that go but all the problem is because this was too tight so pay attention in yours don't lose too much because the idea is no get this screw upside okay use untie enough to pass the thread like that if you see it's the tension created through the bobbin it's all now it's ready thank you guys had a good day god bless you and please continue all of us pray for the young people for all of us for god almighty fill us with his holy spirit and we can realize what is the good way and what is the wrong way to do things in this world thank you guys god bless you bye